Lap of compromise. Judges 16, verses 19 and 20. Then she lulled him to sleep on her knees and called for a man and had him shaven off the seven locks of his head. Then she began to torment him and his strength left him. Then she said, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. So he awoke from his sleep and said, I will go out as before at other times and shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord had departed from him. So as we progress in the life of Samson, we come to this place where Samson has not only been enticed, but he has revealed his secrets because of the continual pestering of Delilah. And here we find him in this very unfortunate place. There, lying in the lap of Delilah. The Bible says, lying between her knees. When he was fast asleep or whatever, however he went into that place of sleep, maybe she intoxicated him or we don't know what he did. We, just, we don't know what, uh, to what extent he compromised, but here he was in the lap of Delilah, fast asleep. And she cut the seven locks of his hair. She removed that consecration that Samson had before God. This lap of Delilah became his downfall. And Samson didn't know what was happening, meaning this sl slide was so slow and was so subtle, he did not know that the Lord had departed from him. What he thought was, well, I'm going to be as strong as at other times. When he woke up and she said, Samson, the Philistines are upon you. He thought he will do what he had always done before, that the hand of God be on, be on him. God's strength will be on him and he will, he, he will overthrow anybody, any army. But he had this was a different day. This was a different moment. His strength had gone. He was no longer where he used to be because he had lost his place of consecration before God. So the lap of Delilah could mean so many things to us today. And I want to suggest that the lap of Delilah, one of the places that we've got to be very careful of is the lap of compromise. You see, what will rob us of our consecration to God? The comp compromise would rob us of our place of consecration to God. Compromise is, doesn't seem as bad as outright sin. Compromise comes as small adjustments we make. We think it's okay. God, this really isn't going to upset God that much. That's what compromise is. I'll make a little adjustment to make this side happy and I will be sure I won't make God that unhappy. That's compromise. But what happens in that lap of compromise? We are actually losing our place of consecration to God and that weakens us. And it is such a slow and a subtle slide that we don't even know that our strength has departed from us. We assume that we will be able to do what we have, we were able to do when we were in that place of consecration, obedient to the call of God with the anointing of God on our lives. But we, we will come to a root shock when we realize we are unable to do it, that there is a weakening taking place in our lives. Be careful of the lap of Delilah, the lap of compromise. Let's stand guard against it. Let's pray. Father, we ask, that you'll give us the strength not to compromise, not a compromise on our place of consecration to you, because that is our place of immunity. Heavenly Father, help us to guard against compromise in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.